What is up everyone? Today, I want to talk about how to make a fist properly. It's my understanding that not everyone has been taught how to do it and I know because I've seen it happen oftentimes where people just Okay, so roll intro so we can get started. Okay, so how do you make a fist properly? Just open your hand. Now I'm going to roll my fingers inside my palm. Okay, so notice how all four fingers will roll and my nails will be hidden inside my palm. Okay, like this. Now once you have this, you'll look, all of the four fingers will be flat. And then what we'll do is use our thumb and close on top of the index and the middle finger. So now if you take a look, this is a proper clenching of your fist. Okay, so once again, roll all four fingers inside your palm, nails will be hidden. Then you lock your thumb over, and your thumb will join across your index and middle finger right there. Okay, so you'll do this. And now if you look at the position of my hand on either direction, there's no fingers and no thumb. And one of the most common injuries that I've seen in boxing, martial arts, MMA, Muay Thai kickboxing, even in my younger days when I used to do karate. And I've always seen injuries to the hands. Most of the times could have been preventable. Basically, people would hold their thumbs up. So in traditional martial arts, for example, a lot of styles such as Japanese karate, they use everything empty hand. I used to see a lot of people always injure their hands. They would break their fingers, sprain their thumbs, break their thumbs, even sprain their wrist. And a lot of times I would inspect and a lot of people didn't know how to close their fists properly. They would be drilling, training, sparring, hitting the heavy bag, using these knuckles right here, hitting with the thumb. All of these injuries could be very preventable, guys, with these basic steps of how to close your hands properly to make an effective fist, okay? Now, one more tip, guys. Every time you're clenching your fist, you'll notice that your fingers are going to remain flat like this. So if you look from this way, whether you like to punch horizontally, vertically, it doesn't really matter. The main thing is that you want to make contact with the two first knuckles right here. That's your index and middle finger knuckle. Okay, so when you're going to strike, this is going to be the main point of contact, which will align all of the small fragile bones into the back of your hand as well as your wrist. So it's very important to make sure that when you're wearing a boxing glove, whether it's MMA glove, boxing glove, 4 ounces, 6 ounces, 8, 10, 12 ounces, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to get to feel the exact placement, but you got to make sure that you turn your fist that way there, thumb goes towards the bottom side, as well as the pinky goes upwards. Okay, so that way there you always have contact with the two first knuckles. So it's very important that you guys understand this because whether you're doing mixed martial arts, boxing, Muay Thai, when you hit the heavy bag or tie pads, you got to make sure that you aim with the two first knuckles of your fist. This way you'll have the proper alignment, good technique, and the most efficient power in your striking. Now, of course, we're talking about the fist in itself, but you're going to be using a boxing glove as well as some hand wraps. Hand wraps. Hmm. That reminds me. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't so already because we're going to be making a good quality video teaching you guys how to properly wrap your hands for Muay Thai. So that's it for this video folks. Just wanted to cover this salient information on properly closing your fist for your next training session. Hey, maybe you were doing it wrong the whole time, been training for a while, no one really took the time to show you how to do it properly. So now you know. Gotta go, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.
Seja eterno com tudo. 